Andresito, good night. How are you? Good night, teacher. I'm fine. Oh, really? I'm so, yeah, me too. I'm so fine nice as well. You. Yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you again. Yay. Well, Thanks, you and Madeline, that's good. That's yeah, all good. She and yeah. Me. Yeah. You and her. Definitely. Yes. Yeah, okay, let's do a check. Okay, I already put my background. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you, you know what? I have already put it, but the problem is that sometimes wants to cooperate with me and sometimes not. So, yeah, that happens. Yeah, how was your day today? So far, so good? So far, so good, yes. Okay, it, it, like, like always, right? You did exactly the same thing. Yes. Nothing special. Nothing special, no. Are yes. you preparing for this coming um, holidays, vacations? Yes, I'm waiting for them. You're waiting for those, right? Yes. <laughs> I yes. can imagine that, yeah, we need them, right? Yes. Oh, this yes, I've a... been in vacation this weekend. It's nice. <laughs> so you, you were doing a vacation in, yeah, I'm in a, a beach or not? Well, half and half. Well, oh, some okay. days we went to um, like to the mountains, right? With the kids, with the baby boy, with my dogs, right? And today, because mm. basically there are some places that they do not accept pets, right? So today they stayed home and just my husband and me like has some day off together. So that's nice. Okay. Oh yes, I deserve it. Five you years have without vacations. I need it. Too much. Yeah, especially due to my mother's situation as well. That affects me a lot. So basically, of course, I need just some time to recover myself, right? At least and move on. So I need it definitely. But yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. helps. Yeah, I need it. Now tomorrow I need to go. No, but it's not everything is just vacation and going out in our way. I'm doing a lot of things at home as well, to my mom's house as well. I need to double check her house as well and um basically as I need to do I, I need to do some checkups medical checkups right I, I'm taking I'm taking time as well for myself to do my checkup uh, tomorrow I think I will go to the lab because there are some um blood tests that you gotta do really early morning without eating right yes, I know <laughs> I hate those but you gotta do what you gotta do yeah so I think they're going to like Shock me oh twice because there's there's an exam that they need to like you you get at like a um they need to check your blood before you eat something then you gotta go and eat and need a like a huge breakfast rest right? and then two hours exactly they need to like take some blood extra again to make sure that um how is your uh, your liver working right uh, how is the um, the sugar uh yeah. it's, it's working in your in your system right and if everything it's okay so basically it's kind of things like that mm -hmm. so i'm going to go to the doctor tomorrow but just in the morning <laughs> just in the morning yeah but thanks so much for asking oh uh, let me ask you a quick question because no you see uh you was only you and me me and you right at the beginning but then we have madeline here we have william this the third one in joined today's class we do have Alexander and we have Josue Alberto and Karen. All right, very good. So I wanna hear more about you guys. How's your day going? William, Alex, Josue, Madeline. Hey, Alex. No, yes, yes. I need your, I like your background. Yeah, I'm eating teacher. No, don't tell me. This is really <laughs> brand new for me. To be yeah. honest with you, if you do not let me know, I wouldn't imagine that. You didn't know. Yeah, no, no, for sure, no. You don't have that, that what, that behavior. No, 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 never, never. It's the <laughs> first time that you're doing that in my class. Nah, I'm just kidding. That's okay. But if this is some fruit, or is actually your your meal? No, my dinner. Your dinner? Yeah. Did you prepare it? Mm, just. You really? Do you cook? Ooh. No, well, I tried. Ah, okay. But you try to prepare your, your own dinner, your own meal. Yeah, uh, sometimes. 
on. Listen, that's good. Okay. And he's going to invite you to go out. Remember that? <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Just teasing you. All right. Tell me something. What was, what is today's menu? Uh, typical food, uh, beans, uh, beans, cream, eggs. Cream, eggs, scrambled eggs. Yeah. All right. With vegetables. With vegetables. Mm, really good. Uh huh. And a fried banana or no fried banana? No. no Tortilla decided. or bread? Tortilla. Tortilla. Two, one yeah. or two? One. One. Okay. And a cup of coffee, cup of tea. No. Uh, Water. I'm drinking uh, salutaris. <gasps> salutaris. Oh my God. You are enjoying uh, too much. Too much. You're having too much time. You're spending too much time with Fernando. He already influenced you. Come on. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, yeah. What happened with the tea? You know, like a British guy, no, uh, and a cup of coffee, like a Salvadoran after, one. What? I drink this after my my meal. Ah, to help <laughs> you with the digestion, right? Oh uh, yeah. But what is it? Is it kind of green tea or chamomile tea? Um. Uh, Manzanilla. Chamomile? Yeah. Chamomile tea? Ah, cinnamon. Yeah. Cinnamon? It, it is cinnamon or is chamomile? Or is it a combination? Combination. The combination? Mm -hmm. But it is, is one bag, one tea bag that has two? Or you actually put two tea bags inside your no, cup? No, one. One? one really? Yes. Cinnamon and, and chamomile? Mm-hmm. And how does it taste? It's good. It's good? Is it good? I like it. Well, if you like it, that's good. You know, well, I will try it. What's what's the brand of your tea? What's the brand? McCormick? No. Yeah, McCormick. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm, go I'm going to search for that because I have never seen uh, one, bag, one tea bag that has like a two ingredients together. Usually they sell it separately, right? Okay. Usually. Let me show you. All right. I think that I, no, he's gonna show us just the tea, right? Not the meal, right? I don't know if you can see. No, you can see. <laughs> I cannot. Oh wait, 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 wait a minute. Are you sure is man is camel weed or is like no? That is. I think that is apple and cinnamon. Yeah, it's apple. You apple see, weed, yeah. I knew it. Like I was like. Cinnamon and chamomile. You see, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly. Apple and cinnamon. Ooh, that is a really delicious tea. I love it. I love it. But you know yeah. what? One of my favorite ones. I this is the first time this week I tried it on. It's the first time. It's matcha. Matcha tea. Ooh. Yeah, with um with almond milk. Oh. That is really good. I have never tried it on. Yeah, the matcha yeah, tea is, is if you are drinking like 10 green teas at once. Yeah, oh. it's really nice. If you like the green tea, you will like matcha tea. Okay. It's really, really nice. Oh, I love it. I love it. I went to like a, a place where you can read, but and at the same time, you can drink a cup of coffee. Or mm -hmm. tea, oh, I love those cafes. Yeah. You know, it was a really good time. That that time was when I when I went to the salon and do my hands and my feet. And then the perfect ending, it was like a cup of tea with a good book <laughs> for me. Because okay. I love to read a lot. Yeah, very good. So he's eating. Uh, what happened with Irwin? Are you drinking your cup of coffee? I have mine. Thank this you, is sir. the Ratatouille one. What happened with your cup of coffee, Mr. Irwin? Oh, sorry, teacher. Sorry, teacher. No, sorry, teacher. that is I don't, I... that is unforgettable. <laughs> no way. I, I don't have it. I want the coffee. Okay, you, if you want, you can go stand up and go on. That's okay oh, for me. No problem. Yeah. You're sorry, on your right. Teacher. I will do it. Of in a course. Few minutes, so. All right. Now that we have a, a, a more guys to join today's class, let me ask you a few, a few questions because I want to know about uh, what do you think about that. Um, 
Madeline, may I ask you a question? Okay. What's the weirdest food you had ever eaten? Uh, what the... What's the weirdest food you have ever eaten? ¿Cuál es la comida más rara que has comido? Mm. ¿Cuál platillo? Mm. La más rara para ti, of course. Mm. Uh, ¿Cusuco? I don't know. ¿Cusuco? ¿Cusuco? Yeah. ¿Cusuco? Really? Cusuco, yes. Yeah. Uh, all right. Cusuco. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Uh, they, 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 they didn't there. tell me that is that. That was Cusuco. And how does uh -huh. it taste? Does it taste good? Mm, so, so. So, so. Yes. You need to it prepare was well, right? Crazy. Crazy. Was... <laughs> <laughs> but that's nice. All right. Uh -huh. Now, uh -huh. I, uh -huh. I like it. You like it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me do a check. Uh, um, William. Mm -hmm. may, I, may I know what's your best scare story? What's your best scare story? Do you know what I'm asking you about? Not really. What's your best scare story? ¿Cuál es tu historia? ¿Cuál es tu mejor historia de, me de miedo? Uh, What's your best scare story? Si sí, tienes una. Si no, te, te, te pregunto otra cosa. Aquí. No, I don't have no, in this don't side, worry. I can't remember. Now let me ask you something. What's the most out of character thing you ever done? That again, please. What's the most out of character thing you've ever done? La cosa más chiflada que has hecho. Fuera de serie. Ah, jumping. Jumping what? <clears throat> On the river. On the river? But, Which yeah, river? Uh, Lempa River. Really? Like with that? With the with the dumbling? With the bonging? No? No, not really. Uh, just uh, throw yourself. A, uh, no, it is a big rock. Ah, huh? like yeah. Acapulco one. Uh, I don't know, but it is <laughs> about uh, 15 meters. Really? Goodness. Were you drunk or something like that? No, no. No, I you weren't. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, that's interesting. Uh -huh. All right. All righty, very good. Thank you, Andresito. Let me ask yes. you a question. Um, what season would you be? What season? What season would you be? Ah, uh, the autumn, winter, spring, summer. Some summer, but summer when Why it's summer? cold. When it's cold. But it's what? When it's uh, when when it's cold. When it's cold. Cold. Yes. That means winter. Or no, in Salvador, we have cold at the beginning of the year. Really? And it's summer. Yes. Is it summer for who? Ah, for you. Ah, here in, in El Salvador. Salvador. Ah, yes, yes exactly. you're in El Salvador, yes. I was like, yes. you know what? Sometimes I like <laughs> I had to change my mind. <laughs> All right. So yes. it, it will be like summer, but with cold part. Yes. Ah, that's good. That's good to know. Mm-hmm. Kathy. Hello, teacher. I hello. Uh, nice to have you here today's class. Let me ask you something. What fruit or vegetable would you most want to be? Oh, B, let me see. Um, uh huh. What fruit or vegetable would you most want to be and why? I don't know. I will. I would say uh, onion. Onion? Yeah, because you why? Can 
in all the, the foods, I mean, I can be a mm. good combination with every a lot of things. Mm. So, That's a really, really interesting answer. Very good. Imagine in all the houses, uh, always um, there is there is a mm -hmm. onion. I mean, so I think it's a good vegetable. It's a good vegetable. Oh, yes, it is. Mr. Fernando. Hello. Let me ask you this is a crazy question. Well, okay. and I know that you're drinking your salutitis, you see? Uh, you already like influenced Mr. Will and Alexander about that. All right. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you something. Would you go with aliens if they been down to the earth? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I, I don't. Uh, because I, I I don't want to to go out of my planet. And I don't know what they want to do ah. with me. Ah, okay, of course I understand. Uh -huh. Okay, that's a good one, Erwin. Are you a good dancer? Ah, uh, teacher. Ah, uh, what a pleasure <laughs> you throw it to me. Come on, teacher. Uh, uh, you uh, gotta say yes or no, or kind of like, yeah, no, don't teacher, worry. Many years ago, many years ago, I visited the Andes of El Salvador uh -huh. when I had a 20 years old. Yeah, uh, do you remember? I don't remember the discotheque, Mario Discotheque. Uh huh. Do you remember the Mario Discotheque? Mm -hmm. Mario's, no, uh, no, no, Mario's Discotheque. It was not the one in, in uh, Sona Rosa, no, yes, it's, uh -huh. uh, more or less. 30 years ago, say, 25 years ago. Okay. It was yesterday. No teacher, many years ago. <laughs> yeah. I visited all night, all Saturday at night. All what Saturday. about now? Teacher. I'm uh, asking right now. Uh, are you a good dancer? Uh, teacher, when uh, I think that when you have your life, uh -huh. you have a sequel, you have to be best in your sequel. Uh -huh. yeah. When you are joke, you have to be the best in the joke. When you are old, you have to see you be the best when you are old. So if you learn something good, like if you learn, yes. if you're a being because good dancer since you're younger, you got to be good dancer right now. Many years ago, <laughs> many years ago. But if, if this is my, my, my only time in my life. I uh -huh. think that uh, if you have to do your time in your life, uh -huh. You will be the best in your kind of life. Oh, that's and good. You will be to be the happy in your kind of life. Because I think what, what when I, I, I was a, a young, I think uh -huh. that uh, today, uh, one man over the 50 years old, I have had 49, okay? <laughs> I 49. But I think that one person over the 50 years old, mm -hmm. Visit the, the bar or visit the discotheque. I remember, I remember that that kind of person don't have a junk. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, and I think I remember that I, I, I remember that when I visited the old Anthony many all Anthony, all Anthony. Okay? Yes, of all course. The time, of course. Okay? All the time, the old Saturday night. Uh, Saturday night worked. life, PGs. <laughs> All uh, but in, in, okay, I remember, in the moment you can find that sugar daddy, that, that kind of, okay, it, uh -huh. it's the name, but I remember the real name, uh -huh. the real name is a viejo verde. Uh -huh. in Spanish. Yes. In Sp no, in Sp is it, this is the name correct, okay, for me. The correct name, name in El Salvador? Okay. No, 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 no. Ah. After that, uh, influence the United States, influence the sugar. I know. Yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> For me, I remember when I visited all the time, uh, all the, all the, all the answers, I remember. Pay attention, that. but not too close, Fernando. <laughs> yes, it's verde, okay? But I remember that when I have 50 years old, I will not visit the discotheque or the bar because I will be so full. Mm -hmm. okay. and 
so full and so full is so full, okay? Uh-huh. So full and <laughs> over the so full, okay? Of over course. the so full, okay? <laughs> yeah, I do understand. <laughs> yeah, over, oh because it's, God, yeah, okay. it's <laughs> over so full. Okay. Yeah. Can you imagine uh, this guy? Oops, yes. Uh, no. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully one Hello. day you can show us a picture. Uh, Maybe. Uh, in that moment, don't have a camera digital. I come on, now he's making <laughs> a lot have, of excuses. We didn't, we didn't have a camera digital, only with a, a flash. With- uh-huh. Okay. Of course. You didn't have a problem with... Yeah. Uh, don't worry if it's in black have, and white. No. Okay. No. White and white, no. It's a color, <laughs> but with the flash. Ah, yeah, excuse me. Yeah, was, was it flash. was Panasonic one? Remember that in 90, in the years, uh, when I... 1990? 98, 91, ah. 92. Uh, I remember that my, my mother told me that uh, you never will go out at it. You never went out at the party, never, never, never. Yes, and I, I listen to my mom. Mm-hmm. I will, I, I, I visited the, the, the discotheque, the bar, I when know. I took my first uh, mom. Ah, I'm okay. Mom, I'm mom. But I work so hard, okay? I work so hard. Yeah. I work, I work. I need a mom, I need a mom. Uh, oops, oops. A long you have a long story, yeah. I can oops, imagine yeah. that. But you, but you spend a really good time. Yeah, yes, yeah. I, in the moment, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I don't interest in I, I, I remember <laughs> that if you, if you, if you live, you live your life in your time, mm-hmm. you will be happy in your, in your life, okay? Yeah, if, definitely. If you, need, if you need to study, you have to study, okay? You have to study. If you have to work, you have to work so hard. The only you have to think, try. To exactly. You just gotta try. Very good. This is, the, this is my, my politics in my life. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your history there with. Now, yes. for, friends, Freddy's, I want to ask you something. Thank you so much for, do, for joining today's class. I really appreciate that. Is Freddy yeah. here? Ah, yes. Yeah. 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 Let me ask you something. Um, yeah. If you could hang out with any cartoon character, who would you choose and why? Ooh, I got my my favorite one. Which one? The woodpecker. The woodpecker. Why? Huh? Why? Like me. <laughs> yes, I'm. I'm a hundred percent agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much for sharing, Jessica. Jesse. Yes, teacher. All right. Now let me ask you a girl question. Um, if you could live anywhere in the world for a year, where would it be? May you repeat again, please? Yeah. If you could live anywhere in the world for a year, where would it be? Um anywhere anywhere in the world they say jesse with your baby boy you can go wherever you want in this planet for one year for one year yeah for one year where will you go maybe germany germany okay all righty very good because i like i like this this country you like the country yeah 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 Awesome. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Glenda. Glendy. Hello, 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 Glendy. Hello, hello. I'm Houston, do we have a problem here? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Glendy, let me ask you a question. Um, if you could choose any person from history to be your imaginary friend, who would it be and why? That's a really tough question. Really? <laughs> yes. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe a person that has been a successful. 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 Like for example? Um, I don't know. Um, yes. 
<laughs> I you forget. know. <laughs> you forgot. I I forgot the name. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's maybe, really complicated, right? Yes. Yes, because <laughs> <laughs> many people. <laughs> I know. Don't worry. That's okay. But good, good, good job for trying. All righty. Thank you. And Jarvin. Jarvin. Hello, teacher. Hello, nice to meet you. Thank you so much for coming. Let me ask you a quick question. Okay. If you could see one movie again for the first time, what would it be and why? I have to say, look at the happiness. Look at the happiness, why? Because it's amazing that movie. But what is amazing? What is about? The, the, the message that the movie has is uh -huh. it's amazing. I like it. You, you never like it? give it up, yes. I have never seen it. I, I I have heard that, but I have never seen it. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Really? You recommended that to me? Yes, it's oh. good. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. Okay. I will definitely, if you recommend it, I will definitely double check that. It's because okay. I love to see, I love to watch movies. You cannot imagine. Okay. All righty. Thank you so much for answering, Jarvin. Uh, Katia, I think I already asked you, right? Or Kenya. Yeah. Okay. So in this case, it's going to be Kenya. Kenya, hello. How are you, girl? Hello. Kenya, hello. Uh, let me ask you a quick question. Yeah. Are you sunrise, daylight, twilight, or nighttime? Daylight. <laughs> daylight. Why? Yes, because I every single day in I have the opportunity in my job to be with people who makes me laugh and who makes me feel like better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, this is one of the things that I like about my, my job, my co-workers, job. because they are always um, helping me or we, we always try to help each other mm -hmm. with things that we need or with personal things. So I think that I'm a sunrise person a service person yeah. oh that's nice thank you let's see blanky blanky yes i'm here okay um let me ask you this question okay if somebody if for example this is all you can eat right i don't know if you have received all you can eat but yeah it is kind of similar what i'm gonna ask you if, if somebody said that you can have an unlimited supply of one thing for the rest of your life, what is it? Sushi, a scotch tape, what, what would you choose and why? Uh, a scotch tape, it doesn't make sense. No, I'm just asking you, this, um, this is a weird question, I know. Okay. One year supply. You can you can have for one year you can have unlimited quantity for that thing. So what oh you will choose? I, I I already know that. <laughs> really? Which one? Yeah, Coca Cola. <laughs> Coke? Why? Yeah. You're a I Coke love, holic. I love. I, I'm a Coke holic. Oh, oh yeah. my god! So I think Fernando will choose Salutaris. <laughs> right. Yeah, but I love, I love Coca Cola. You love Coca Cola? Yes, maybe. Yeah, maybe, right? Joshi, welcome to the jungle. We're going to do the class. We're having a really nice uh, questions, you know. Let, you're come just in the perfect time. In the perfect time. And let me let you know why. Uh, let me double check. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes, this is going to be good. What am I going to ask you? Oh, yes. Uh, what is your cell phone wallpaper? You're asking that question to me? Yes, of course. Of course. Okay, thank you. <laughs> well, yeah, from the wallpaper, I have my daughter. 
your oh, daughter. daughter. Oh, yes. your daughter. Oh, yes. that's nice. Every time I, can, I don't want to work, mm -hmm. I don't want my untitled or something, I can see her photo. And oh. I say, I should do it for her. I should do it for her. Yes. I should move on. Very good. Yes. Thank you so much. That is the, the most sweetest thing that I have ever heard. Thank you. There you go. Yes. Our children gave us like an ex the extra energy that we need to move on, right? Yes. yes That's what mm -hmm. that happens to me when I when I see my baby boys. Chestnut and whiskey. <laughs> I know that that those are my pets, right? Yeah, but for me are my babies. So I know that there's no yes, there is no comparison between a human being and a pet, right? But if I feel that with my pets, I can't imagine how you feel with your baby. Definitely. That is a, that good... is really popular. Yeah. To and... have uh, children that are pets. Yes. It's really popular. <laughs> okay, now let me ask you, Francisco, the last question. Francisco. Yes. All right, let me ask you this question. Maybe this question is going to be like a little weird. But I just want your opinion. If you could commit any crime and get away with it, what would you choose and why? Depends. Tisha. Depends on what? Depends on the month. <laughs> Depends on the month? Yeah. Okay. But yeah. Okay. So give us your opinion about that. Um, I don't that, know. That is a really interesting question, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, you should know. Oh. If you can commit any crime and get away with it, what will be and why? What would that maybe, be? Uh, maybe I stole the, how do you say, sabiduría? Wisdom. Wisdom, yeah. Stole the wisdom from who? For me? uh-huh yeah you stole the wisdom yourself i don't get it yes no 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 no. Uh, stole for my use uh -huh. i stole the wisdom but but you're going to stole the wisdom of who mm. i don't know <laughs> i don't know um ¿Robarás la sabiduría para ti? Yes, for, para mí mismo. ¿Pero la sabiduría de quién? I don't know, the, the, the knowledge of the works. Of the works. Los conocimientos del mundo. Huh? Of the world. The yeah. word knowledge. Ah, mm -hmm. the word knowledge. Para mis usos. Ah. You're going to use for your own purposes. Yeah. Stay away from Francisco, guys. He's a bad influence. I'm <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> no, no. no, just I am crazy. I no, I don't think so. The craziest one that I have is Freddy's. <laughs> he has his first. Know. Yeah, yeah. He has his spot, and he's in the first place. Yeah, I always interrupting everyone. Uh huh. Exactly. And can you imagine to hit that a uh, that masterpiece? It's really hard. Right. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you yeah. saying on the main brain? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Para llegar a the crisis de ese doctorado y maestría que tiene Freddy's, you need to work hard, Francisco. Wow. <laughs> it's not as easy as, as it looks. Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Freddy's like, what? Okay, do you, you do you like it how we start? Bunch bunch in question, right? Bunch of questions about different things. And you would never imagine what I should ask you about it. Okay, that's good. So welcome to the class, guys. Welcome to the craziest class that you have ever seen in your entire life. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> exactly for it is. He's like, eh. yes, of course. Now let me ask you something. Let's move on. May I ask you if you guys remember by any chance what we have seen yesterday or we saw yesterday? Volunteer. I always I need a volunteer. I do. Uh-huh. Okay, go ahead, sir. Oh, we're seeing, um, 
I think it was a letter. Letter. A letter. Direct. What kind of letter? Yeah. I think it was directed to a company. Ah, uh aha. -huh. For what? For applying for a job. For a job application, exactly. Yeah. What's the name of that letter? Remember that? Oh man, I just forgot. Remember, <laughs> I, <laughs> I sure remember. I think the head yes. of my um the the head that had in my head it make me remember that. <laughs> yeah, maybe like okay, like <laughs> I, you had like a, something broken, then it automatically repeated, right? I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I like your background, Andresito. Thank you. All righty. Yeah, it was cover letter. Remember, cover letter. Some of you have sent it to me, which I really appreciate it a lot. And the ones that hadn't sent it to me, hopefully you have time to read it today because I want to hear it. Okay? That's okay. Don't worry about that. Uh, uh, uh. So, but before we move on, thank you so much for sharing. We also uh, did a lot of listening activities, remember guys? Because we saw a lot of adjectives that talks about uh, people's personalities, right? That will help us with the communication skills. Hey, do you remember what does it mean? Crazy. Crazy. What does it mean? I don't know. I don't know. What does it mean? Fernando, I want to hear Fernando. Fernando, what does it mean? Remember that? Remember Mortal Kombat. Uh -huh. Come on, baby. <laughs> exactly. You got it, man. You got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, you know what I asked Fernando because I told him that he's gonna say that to his wife. That's the reason why. All righty. And do you remember what's the, what does it mean? Listen. Uh huh. And this? Be quiet. Be quiet. Oh, uh, quiet, right? Yeah. Or zip or silence. Yeah, very good. Now, also, we learned new vocabulary, right? Not only for uh, describing uh, with adjectives uh, the people's gestures, but at the same time, how you said that in English. Remember this? How do you say this in English? Probably something like that. Uh, kind of. Oh. What? What? Oh. It, uh -huh, it's a, oh, you see, it sounds like a cat, right? Cat is trying to pronounce something in English, like <laughs> that, that, right? Yeah, okay. What do you say that? How do you say that in English? How do you say this? Uh-huh. Pringle, right? Pringle. Uh -huh. Yeah, you were close. I think yeah, it was... Uh, what about this? You're wrinkling your nose. Uh-huh. What about this? Rolling your eyes. Yeah, rolling your my, eyes. Your eyes, exactly. What about this? Tapping, tapping what? Food. Tapping your the food. food. Exactly. And what was the other one? Remember? Uh -huh. Biting your nails. Ah, yes. Uh huh. And this? Like scratching monkey, right? Scratching. 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 Yeah. So for, imagine that you are looking at a person that is doing this. What could possible mean? Serious issues. <laughs> Maybe happy ovals, right? Something like that. Yeah, but yeah. What about if you watched a person doing this? What Just could possible mean? <laughs> Come on, now in, in an entire work environment, my friend. Uh, uh -huh. You know? <laughs> yeah, well, no, but let's let's focus on the work environment. Okay? <laughs> So much information that we're not supposed to know. Okay, very good. Uh huh. What about this? If you see that I person like this, work environment. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. If somebody's like this, wondering. Mm, maybe. Bored. Bored. Mm -hmm. If somebody's like this, no Something <laughs> that smells bad. Yes. Hilarious. Besides that, it could be that somebody's annoying, right? Maybe, maybe yes, maybe no. If somebody's like this, it's what could possible be? Market. What? Market. Could no. be my baby. What about if somebody's on patient? 
their temperature. <laughs> uh huh. Exactly. Exactly. Or is annoyed because something is happening, right? Yeah. Right. There's a lot of things that we are involved. Also, got in that we sold that yesterday because that I let you know that it will help you a lot when you are creating your communication crisis plan. That hopefully you're already working on that. All right. There you go. But also, guys, there's another thing that I want to share with you again. I don't see, I don't know if I have sent it to you or share with you, but this is really important because that will help you to create the ideas about that. And basically, we're going to use two things to create the ideas that you are going to use to talk about that communication crisis plan. You will need to use it plus adjective and an infinitive verb. But before I move on, infinitive, how you, how you, use, how you create an infinitive? What is the structure of the infinitive? Do you remember? Something in the mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yeah, that's something. <laughs> infinitive, Grammar, grammarly talking. How you construct an infinitive? We two. Exactly, Doris. To create, to achieve, to communicate, to identify, etc. So, for example, if when you are talking about the actions that you will do to solve a problem, for example, you gotta use these two things the it plus adjective and the infinitive. You gotta do both things in order for you to complete the idea. That's what I was about to share right now with you really quickly. And then we're gonna do some um, writing exercises. Take a look at this. That is an extra information that I wanna share with you. For example, if you would like to say, hey, we gotta do these guys to solve this problem. You gotta use it plus adjective and infinitive verb to express guys that something is relevant that something is important to do for example you can say it is crucial you see crucial is an adjective infinitive to create like doris said to create what a crisis management team right to solve a communication crisis crisis management team is the most then there's something else that you can do it's essential. Remember that you can use it, not abbreviated and abbreviated weight. It's essential to identify potential crisis. You see, to construct your idea, you gotta use these two things. It plus additive and an infinitive verb. If you would like to express that something is relevant. There's something that's important that we must we must do. We gotta do this. All right. So let me double check if you have understood. I got some exercises right now for you, but these exercises are in disorder. I love these exercises because it will make you think. So let me ask you something, Fernando. Thank you so much for participating. You are the best. Look at this. I have necessary is provide accurate it information. How will you construct the sentence? It's necessary to provide accurate, accurate. No, it, it is necessary to provide accurate, accurate information. So you said like this, you said, it is necessary, you said, right? Yes. To provide, to provide accurate, accurate information. Info, information. That's what you said. Are you guys agree with him? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay, cool. Of course. All right. Thank you so much for rock and roll. Okay, third one. Uh, Joshi, human is to make it make mistakes. Ah, that was difficult. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, it is. Mm -hmm. 
It is what? Human. Where is the adjective here? It is here? human to make me. It is human. Mm -hmm. It is human to make mistake. But I have a doubt. There is double make. So I don't know if there is an issue or. It could be. Ah, okay. It is human to make mistakes. So it is human to make okay. mistakes. Uh -huh. Exactly. Very good. All righty. What about number four? Critical to prepare it for litigations and claims. If. And Kathy, what do you think? Uh -huh, Kathy. 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 Oh, wait, wait, wait. A bit, hold, hold, hold it, hold it, hold it. All right. <laughs> it is, uh, let me see. It is. Mm -hmm. um, it is. Critical. Critical. To prepare for the litigations and claims. All right. To prepare, right? Or prepare, prepare for litigations. For litigations and claims. And claims. Very good. Claims, quejas, reclamos, chicos. All right. It Proba, was entonces. Proba, exactly, yes. There you go. <laughs> Number five. Um, Doris, what you have for us? Number five. It, to show a proof of expertise, is responsible. It's, it is a... Okay, is... Responsibility to show a proof of suspicious. Is responsible to show mm -hmm. a proof of expertise. Repeat mm -hmm. after me, please. Say it one more time. It is responsible. Say it, Doris. It is responsible. It is responsible to show to show a proof a proof. Of expertise. Of expertise. Very good job. And last but not least, Josuecito, are you with me? Josue, Josuecito. I think Josuecito is falling asleep or still working. That could be. What about you, Kenya? I know Kenya already participated. What about you, Blanquita? What do you have for me for the last one? Yeah, I'm here. Are you, who is here, Josuecito? Okay, Josuecito, can you please help me with the last question? With the last sentence, sorry. Hello. Hello. Teacher. Yes, Josuecito. I think Josuecito cannot listen to me. What about you, Blanquita? What do you have for us? For the last one. Okay, I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try. Yeah, do your best. It is resources effectively. I don't know how to pronounce that effectively. Effectively. Okay, effectively to manage. Yeah, it is important. It is important. <laughs> mm -hmm. Resources effectively to manage. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure. Okay. It is, yeah, it do is, your best. It is important to manage resources effectively. Effectively. Yeah. Very good. Good job. So how it is, Blanquita? It is important to manage resources effectively. Exactly. Yes. And you know what? I think Freddie should hit the, the head more frequently. What do you think? Oh, no, I'm just teasing you, sir. Of course, that you oh, have yeah. a very good. Yeah, you have. He's you very good at yeah. English. I know. He makes very mistakes. Hmm. Yeah, I have uh, a, huge yeah. mistakes. Huh? mistakes. <laughs> uh -huh, exactly. <laughs> no, no, but, but you're doing your best, which is really good. Everybody has has your um, strong parts. 
All right, very good. So let me double check something. Okay, so I'm giving you right now like an extra information, guys, that will help you with your communication plan. You're supposed to do it. Now, let me ask you a quick question. Talking about plan, uh, talking about that, sir. Now, sometimes, guys, I don't know if that had happened to you personally, if you have seen it or if you have lived that in your work environment, but sometimes um, the superiors, the supervisors or the boss and everything, um, they ask more, a lot of things to the employee, right? And sometimes you gotta be like multitasking, right? Multitasking and basically doing the other people's job and you're doing like three jobs in one and having the same salary, for example. So let me ask you something. How do you, if you were, for example, the boss, how do you motivate employees to engage in value adding activities that will benefit the organization. Can I try? Yeah. Uh, actually, one of the things will be um, in the month that is their birthday to give them um, a small cake. Uh huh. And um, as, like a personal box of pollo campero with some fries. Ah, uh -huh. for the lunch nobody will say no to food yeah especially if it's free yep but so, some of some of the person of the, there are picky persons right yeah but you know what that's what i love two idioms that you have here in el salvador first of all one says a macho regalado no se le busca lado right there's one yeah. of them and I, there's a lot of another one that says limos neri con garrote right yeah i see that a lot <laughs> yeah i love that right yeah but that's a good one freddy's that's a good one a good motivation do you have anything else another activity besides what he said now let me ask you something another question for me uh, oh and i want to hear your opinion do you think guys that employees are more motivated by receiving a higher salary with fewer fewer benefits or a lower salary with more benefits? What do you think? Yeah, a huge salary, but lower benefits or lower salary with more benefits. What do you think? What, what kind it, of benefits? What motivate? Uh, depends, right? But what do you, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't wanna go into details about that. I just wanna talk about it in generally. What I prefer the, hu the, the huge salary. Uh-huh. I can make my own benefits. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, that's a good one. Okay. All right. Uh-huh. Are you agree with Blanky or do you have a different opinion about that? I have a different opinion because Okay, go ahead, sir. I had a neighbor that he had a huge salary, but uh -huh. his benefit wasn't that good because um let's say he was a um he had to start working like around five, end up around twelve at night. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he was sleeping and they would call him um, to go up in the, the company because uh -huh. he, he needed to get some products. So actually it wasn't that good. Mm -hmm. If he had like a small salary and, and they evaluate um, the extra time, I think we would have like more income for him. <laughs> so you, do you think that lower salary but with more benefits? Yeah. Or better benefits. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you, we have two op two opposite opinions. Team Freddy's and Team Blankies. Who you want to be with? <laughs> that's a huge one, right? Maybe uh -huh, Fernando? I have a different opinion. Okay, you said yeah, that's what I want. I want to hear you. Go ahead. Speak your uh, time. For me, uh, maybe you can you you can have a uh, a low salary with the uh, huge responsibilities, but only for, for getting experience. Uh -huh. And with the promise that you, if you work every day, you do the things very well, you do your, your work very well, mm -hmm. and you, you will from, you will go to promote. You, 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 you can be promoted. You can be promoted in the future. Mm -hmm. 
that with the, with this promise, uh, uh -huh. maybe you can uh, gradually you maybe you you would be uh, an important asset to the company with a, a better salary. Uh -huh. So you are you are not in, in the in the two teams. You have a thirteen. Yes, because okay, some, okay. sometimes you, uh, uh, sometimes if you got something well, you you start from from low or from the say? scratch. Yeah, from, from the, the scratch. Yes. Okay, that's good. That's a good opinion. We have three opinions here. Who but, who give more? Who give more? Fernando. Fernando. That happened to that happened to my neighbor. He started from from the scratch and um. Oh. And then he got higher and actually he had a, like a, I think his salary was like around almost $2,000. But actually he didn't have a good life because even though on weekends he had to be in there oh, no. in the company and oh, he had to wake to... up at one, at one in the morning and go to the company. So at 1 a.m. in the morning. So you need to like balance, right? Yeah. Which is best? Salary with lower benefits and or lower salary with a hitch benefits. So you're like, you need to like <laughs> or the third question or the third option that Fernando said. Yeah, exactly. If you're single, it's a different thing. If you're married or with children, it's a totally different situation. It's not the same. So you gotta like evaluate a lot of things. What about you, William? What do you think? What will you prefer? I'm single and I, I prefer high salary. Madeline, listen, he's single. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> well, it has been sponsored by the teacher. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, how, what is the name of that of that girl with the it's good to know with him? Yeah, good to know. Good to know. <laughs> now uh, let's see what's the name of uh yeah. La Celestina. I'm not a Celestina, right? I'm just teasing you. Uh, yeah. Do you remember the Celestina? No? That was no, that, that is a soap opera. Yes. Uh, yeah. It, it basically, Celestina was an old, well, I think it was a witch. I don't know. But it was an old lady who actually has been in charge to be like Cupido, right? To like uh, uh, help the, the guy and the girl meet and get together in order to fall in love, right? But well, in that case, it was a completely disaster at the end. Yeah, but I'm not Celestine, okay, William? No, 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 I'm just teasing you. All right. No, you, so, you're so, the one from Doce Corazon. And no, I don't like it at all. No way. No, no, no. I'm not that kind of girl. My apologies for that inconvenience, but no way. <laughs> <laughs> all righty and i know you don't believe me but <laughs> but it's true <laughs> okay now let me listen to you william what do you think you're single you said but you prefer high salary with lower benefits yes we love benefits or higher salary with good benefits that would be an ideal right yeah I, <laughs> that I, would be an idea but the perfect world at the perfect one yes exactly anybody else want to wants to sh throw your opinion Jarvin, Francisco, Joshi, Glendy, Kenya. Maybe I will uh, first read the uh -huh. read the, the benefits that the company is providing me. It's providing because, you, uh -huh. yeah. In case I will, maybe I will pay for the June salary, but I will request the benefits that they are providing me to take advantage of that. What can I choose? Uh huh. Exactly. Very good. Jarvin, you were saying? Yes, but we have to remember that your question is start, what motivated the person more, right? Uh -huh. So <laughs> the, the, the motivator is with benefits. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter the salary. Uh -huh. you're, uh, why you're saying Francisco, you see Francisco? The daughters are flying. <laughs> okay, the daughters are flying sign. Jarvin, you're saying that for your own experience? Yes, because uh -huh. when, I get, when I get the position as a supervisor. You got the position. Yes, when I got the position. So my salary was increased. Uh -huh. A little bit, of course. But, it has, to, it has to, you change the position, yeah. Yes, but I 
I lost the, the benefits for efficient production. Uh -huh. So Why? I see the, the, I don't know, it's a rule. So go back to being a, an agent. <laughs> so when I see so the, the, the benefits, mm -hmm. so I say, oh my God, I, I, I am lost money. One I benefit. Lost yes. But was it worth it or no? Yes. Yes, you see? Yes, yes. He doesn't want to say, you see? Mm -hmm. We're going it, today. It will be a one on one session, okay, Jerry? I'm <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. No, very good. Uh, you want to, anybody else wants to share? Francisco, Glendy, I don't know. Teacher, I have a question. Ah, no way. Go ahead. I think um, only call center has some um, good salary and good benefits, right? Only good? Uh, good salary and good benefits. Who? Call center. Call centers. Call, call centers. Yeah. Uh, not really, depends. Oh, because I've seen the commercial. Depends on what? Hiring bonus and vacation bonus and good salary. Yes. So, and we have I, all that. <laughs> so, so it's true. Uh, yes, it depends on which uh, where you work for, which call center you work for. Because they have a different... Um, well, guidelines and all the stuffs, but also there's another companies that has a, like a good, um, good salary as well. You think so? Yes, I, I know that. Oh. So you gotta be bilingual because that will open many doors for you. And Francisco, yes. No, I'm just kidding, Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if you are trilingual, much better. When we finish English, guys, we're gonna teach you French, okay? Don't worry about that. I wanna learn, um, I think it's called Mandarin. Mandarin, oh, yes, nice. But you better like polish your English first and then you move forward to the Mandarin. Okay. Because you need to learn it from scratch. Because it's a brand new alphabet. Whoa. Mm. Yep. See, it's, there's a difference between Mandarin Chinese and Japanese, it's totally different. The three of them, even though they're Asians, but the three of them has a totally different alphabet. For real? Yes, they do. Why are some words similar, I think so. And not really, especially because some of them have accents and one of them, they don't have any accent at all. You need to figure out which one I'm talking about, okay? Another homework for you. Because I have heard that um, the two basic um, languages, English, Spanish, and Mandarin. What? In some call centers? A, yeah, yeah, in call centers and most of the international jobs. Ah, yes, of course. Because, for example, Asian guys are really popular all around the world. Mm -hmm. But if you learn, for example, French, Spanish, and English, you can speak with anybody else around the world. Mandarin would be a plus. I don't know Mandarin, but, if, but I have a friend who knows Mandarin. Really? Yes. Yeah. Another friend. She's I not a teacher. A, I met him um, in the US in, in, in LA, um, a Chinese guy. Really? That's nice. And, and he knew um, like around 10 languages, 10 different 10 languages. Ooh, that's yeah. nice. They're, re they're really, really smart. Yeah, they're really smart. But it doesn't mean that you're that you cannot do it. Of course you can do it. Not with my mind. <laughs> well, not with the heat on your head today, right? Because of course, yeah. <laughs> now wait. Especially but, the ideas will pop out of that. <laughs> oh no, come on, I know that. I think they will, it will help you. You know what? I remember that when my mom was alive, she was like, using some stairs and she put like a hammer at the top of it and then yeah. she closed the escaleras right and then she forgot that the hammer was on the top and oh. then the hammer hit her head she was like ooh, like that yeah it was really hard for her because after that like a month ago a month after that she started ha having some issues with one of her eyes actually the um, the right one, the right one. I hope that. No, 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 that it was my mom and nothing to do with you. But I remember 
that mm -hmm. so you need got, to be I very careful. Cloud, like around a minute oh, That's my what <laughs> oh my god i'm sorry that had happens to you but but i'm i'm happy that you're here okay guys so let me ask you something let's make a role play we have a lot of time without doing a role plays so i'm gonna need two big teams sorry two volunteers if you don't mind to play to uh, a role play and um after that we're going to focus on the pronunciation and also on the new vocabulary who wants to help me with this thank you so much i do really appreciate your patience your support and you're willing to do that thank you jarvin you're a nice guy and um Madeline, you want to try, girl? Okay. And Jar Jarvin, you want to try, sir? Mr. Gabara. Okay. Okay, cool. That's the spirit that I need. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me share right now my screen with you, if you don't mind. We're going to do something related to motivation, okay? And then we're going to discuss about that. So let me just a couple of minutes. There you go. Is it okay for you or would you like to make it a little bit bigger? Is that okay? Bigger. Please. Bigger? All right. Yeah, All righty. Da, 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 da. All right. Is it much better? Yes. Okay, yes. cool. So Mr. you're going to be a Steve and uh, Joko is going to be Madeline. All right. So just listen carefully. Let's practice right now the pronunciation and then you're going to help me with the role, please. Okay. Uh, 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 repeat. Hey, guys, the first question, this question, what type of question is this? What? What type of question is this? An open question. Huh? Which one? A WH question, exactly. So may I ask you, the intonation goes up or goes down? Goes up. Are you sure? Down. Exactly. Maybe. No, maybe. No, goes down. The WH question goes down. Oh, yes, no questions goes up. Never forget that. So, all right. So, repeat after me. What do you think is the best way to motivate an employee? Uh huh. When I listen to you guys, what do you think is the best way to motivate an employee? Very good. Creating a workplace where the employee is free to make suggestions. Creating a workplace where the employee is free to make suggestions. How do you do this? How do you do this? How do you do this? Uh, do I, do I, this? I only listen to girls. How do you do this? How do you do this? Very good. Motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. Motivating employees. So we avoid rules. So we avoid rules. There are some rules to prevent chaos. There are some rules. But our main motto is having no rules. But our main motto is having no rules. Then employees will feel free to innovate and propose changes. Then employees will feel free to motivate. Very good. What are some of the benefits that you use to keep your workers motivated? What are some of the benefits that your workers motivated? motivated? Overtime is not allowed. Time is not allowed. Time is not allowed. Mm -hmm. Wearing a uniform is not a required thing in our company. Wearing a uniform is not required in our company. And the whole company goes on a paid overseas vacation every five years. And the whole company goes on a paid overseas vacation every five years. All right. Hopefully, guys, when I ask you to participate, it, you pronounce it correctly. If you don't pronounce it correctly, you will be in a big trouble with me. Okay? I did you was so rude. Yes, I am. <laughs> All right. Very good. So the first victims, first participant, Madeline and Jarvin. Go ahead, please. <clears throat> you start, Madeline. 
What do you think is the best way to motivate an employee? Creating a workplace where the employees is free to make suggestions. What do you do this? Motivating employees is difficult if they, be, if they believe they will make a mistake. So we avoid rules. There are some rules to prevent chaos, but our main motto is having no rules. Then employees will be free to innovate and propose change. What are some of the benefits that you use to keep your workers motivated? Overtime is not allowed. Wearing a uniform is not required thing in our company. And the whole company goes on pay overseas vacation every five years. Very good. Good job, guys. Just double checking some of pronunciation. How do you do this? Remember, Madeline? How do you do this? You said, what How do you do, you do this? this? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm exactly. sorry. <laughs> That's okay. And remember guys, don't forget to pronounce the termination. Changes, changes. Allow it. Allow it. Goes on a paid, goes on a, goes on a paid. Mm -hmm. Goes on a paid. Very good, excellent, good job. All right, William and Doris, please. What do you think is the best way to motivate an employee? Okay, William, continue. <laughs> You're a Steve. Sorry. You're a Steve. Go ahead. You're creating a workplace where the employee is free to make suggestions. Uh -huh. How do you do this? Uh, motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. So we avoid rules. There are some rules to prevent chaos, but our main motto is having no rules. Then employees will feel free to innovate and propose changes. What are some of the benefits that you use to keep your workers motivated? Overtime is not allowed. Wearing and Wearing a uniform is not a required thing in our company and the whole company goes on a, on a paid overseas vacation every five years. Very good. Good pronunciation overall, Doris and Mr. Willen. Just one thing, how you, how you pronounce this word? Yes, I say think, but uh -huh. it, it is think. You see, working 14 years in a call center, have developed my ear yeah, that you cannot imagine. Tengo mi oído de tísico, so I could detect yeah. the sound. You said think, right? How you pronounce this? Think. 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 Cosa. Think. Pensar. Think. Pensar. Think. Exactly. So that's the difference. That is one and all and, and just Double check for me. Changes. Changes. Yes. Suggestions. 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 Most of you had like a, a what a little bit problem with that with the terminations. Suggestions. Changes. That's mm -hmm. what I want to hear. Very good. But you know what? Overall, you did a really good job. Excellent job. Very good pronunciation. Um Fernando. You want to try with Jesse? Yes, of course. Okay, so go ahead. Jesse, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, so let's I'm rock and roll, here. my girl. Go ahead. I'm Joko. No, I'm, jo I'm Joko. No, me. You are Mr. Steve, my friend. Okay, okay. <laughs> Joko, come on. Uh -huh. What go do ahead. you think? Okay, what do you think is the best way to motivate an employee? Uh, creating a workplace where the employee is free to make suggestions. How do you do, do this? Motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. So we are by rules. There are some rules to prevent chaos, chaos, chaos. But our main motto is having the rules. Then employees will, will feel free to innovate and 
Purpose change. Purpose change. Change. Changes. What What are some of the benefits that you use to keep your work? Sorry, may I repeat again? <laughs> of course. What are some of the benefits that you use to keep your workers motivated? Uh, overtime is not allowed. Wearing a uniform is not required thing in our company. And the whole company, the whole company goes on a paid overseas vacation every five years. Uh -huh. okay. Got some paid. Very good. Got some paid. Goes on a paid. Goes on a paid. Goes on a paid. Very good. All right. Just double checking. Employee. 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 Prevent. Prevent. Propose. Propose or changes. Changes. Allowed it. Allowed it. Allowed Very it. Very good. Very Allowed good. It. Excellent job. Good job, guys. Overall, amazing job. Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Freddie, you want to do it with um with Kenya? Yeah. All right, let's rock and roll, my friend. Go ahead. Who am I? Mr. Uh, Steve. Mr. No, Freddie. <laughs> of, of course, I you know you're ready, but in this role play, you gotta be still. <laughs> Don't worry, that's okay. Kenny, are you there? Yes. Okay, I'm so Jessica. let's start. Yes, of course, my dear. <laughs> okay. What do you think is the best way to motivate an employee? Creating a workplace where the employees is free to make suggestions. Oh How do you do this? Motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. So we avoid rules. There are some rules to prevent chaos, but our, our main motto is having no rules. Then employees will feel free to in, innovate and propose changes. What are some of the benefits that you use to keep your workers motivated? Overtime is not allowed. Wearing uniform is not required things in our company. And the whole company goes on a pay overseas vacation every five years. Goes on a. Yeah. Goes on a page. Very good. Excellent job. And thank you so much, guys. And last but not least, Andresito. Hello. Hello. Would you like to be with or play this role with Katia? Okay. Miss Katia, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Of course, okay. Katia, you're going to be Yoko and Andresito, you're going to be Steve, right? Just to double check, right? You don't have the doubts for Mr. Fries. Okay. okay. All right, in Kenya. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah, okay. Yes. Okay, let's move on. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay, uh, what do you think is the best way to motivate an employee? Creating a workplace where the employee is free to make suggestions. How do you do this? Motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. So we avoid rules. There are some rules to prevent chaos, but our main motto is having no rules. Then employees will feel free to innovate and propose changes. What are some of the benefits that you use to keep your workers motivated? Overtime is not allowed. Wearing a uniform is not a required thing in our company. And the whole company goes on a paid overseas vacation every five years. Very good. Excellent job. Guys, thank you so much. You have done so much work right now and I really appreciate everything that you have done. Amazing job. Very good. Just for future reference, which is going to be tomorrow, just I'm going to uh, circle some of the verbs that we're going to double check tomorrow. Creating, motivating, and wearing. All right? Just take a look on this and have it in mind because we're going to focus on these things tomorrow. Alrighty, uh, 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 um. 
Now, do you think that uh, their conversation it was important? What they were doing, what they're suggesting? What do you think about the suggestions that uh, Steve has given? Are you agree with, with some of them or not really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah why? Because I like to work in an environment where I'm free to make suggestions. Really? Why you yeah. like that? Because I don't like to follow a pattern. Uh huh. Let's say um, I give you an example. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the boss tells me you have to do this, like this, and like this, and then mm -hmm. I found out a way to do it faster and better. And then he'll be like, "I don't know if you're gonna, I don't know how you're gonna do it if you make a mistake." I'm gonna just chill, chill and relax. Mm -hmm. Just let me do it. Uh -huh. And then he just supervised me at the end. He's like, okay, you were right. <laughs> uh -huh. Exactly. So let me ask you something. I need to know your opinion about this. Remember that part of the dialogue that you have just read and practiced right now between you guys? There was a, um, a phrase that I need to know your opinion about that. I think um, Stephen said that. He said, Motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. So what is your opinion about that phrase? What do you think about that phrase? Motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. Are you agree with that? Are you not agree with that? Today's speaking. Maybe he's missing something to motivate him. Uh huh. Maybe he being like uh, he tries to motivate, but he he doesn't have the right way to motivate, and that's why they're they're afraid and they make mistakes. Uh huh. Okay, that's a good one. Yoshi, what do you think? Eh. Oh, Blanky, go ahead. Eh, in my case, I think that if I have more benefits or well I, I receive more benefits uh, I will be more a uh, commitment with the with the job I think you will have and more I, than I wanna, yeah and I want to try to I'm gonna try to to make the things right and, uh -huh. and I don't know and do less mistakes than than when I don't have so much benefits. Aha, uh -huh, that's a good one. That's, that's what I thought. Very good. That's good. All righty. Somebody else, Joshi. Tell me, teacher. Sorry. Tell me, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> I'm just asking you, for example, about uh, um. What well, we have read or what we have uh, practiced today about uh, this dialogue. Steve mentioned that motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. What do you think about this, uh, this phrase? I need your opinion about that. Not really, because uh, if I have more benefits, uh, for example, in the place that I work, uh, I will receive... Uh, $60 for super selecto see my handle time is less than seven. So I, mo I am motivated to do it. Uh -huh. Of course, doing correctly, doing very really well. Uh, I understand as Blanky, I will be motivated to do it better. Okay, that's a good one. Anybody else? Pisa, state quieta. Aha, beautiful. Kathy, Kenya, Madeline, Darwin. Um, Miss, I think that yeah, may I? <laughs> of course. Okay. You may. Yeah. Uh, I think that uh, it depends of or uh, how we make the things. Uh, hmm. We try. We can try to do the best uh, if our boss is good or with us i think mm -hmm. that it depends how we uh, how you feel uh, yes or oh, tratar las personas 
the, the way that you treat of the other person. Well, yes, it uh, depends of uh, the boss he treats. How do you treat? Yes. Oh, how and mm -hmm. I think that. Okay, that's good. That's good. Very good. And Anything? we motivate. You try to do the best if they give us the 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 tools. They, they give us the tools. Very good. That yeah. that you you pointed out something really important. If you have the tools and if you have the knowledge, do you think you will be afraid to make a mistake, or do you think that you will believe that you that you can possibly make a mistake? Not because you have the knowledge. Uh huh. So let me ask you something. Because Freddie mentioned that he loves some of what he, what Stephen uh, said about there's uh, uh, the um there are some rules to prevent cows, but their main motivation is having no rules. So let me ask you something, guys. Uh, what do you think about the methodology implemented by the manager in the conversation? Do you think it will work? You think that you may, it might work in your company or your environment? I don't know. I want your opinion about that. Uh -huh. Doris, Francisco, Glendy, Alexander, Jarvin, Blanky, Kenya, anybody. Only one, only one. I need only one, please. I know everybody wants to participate, but hold your horses, guys. Okay, yes, Francisco, what you, you were saying? Yeah. I my opinion is that it, it depends. Uh -huh, depends maybe, on what? Depends that the the manager, maybe if the manager is a leader. Uh -huh. It's not the same, the boss and the leader. Uh -huh, very good. Anybody else has a different opinion about Francisco? Thank you, Francisco. No? I was thinking on the part that where it says no rules. Uh -huh. There always has to be some rules. Mm -hmm. Because if there's no rules, um, it's a chaos. Yeah, it's okay. a chaos, and I think some people will not make an effort on their job. Mm -hmm. So talking about efforts, do you think external incentives like money and extra benefits are better to keep employees motivated? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Why not? I will. I will clean the shoes on my boss. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. All right, cool. So now let me ask you a quick question. All right. So we have improved a lot of things, and we have also learned a lot today. But I just want uh, to help you with building more vocabulary about this, about motivation, and all the stuff. Actually, guys. Have let me ask you something. Have you heard by any chance the words or the terms extrinsic and intrinsic? Have you heard it no. before? Have no. you used it before? No, me. No, intrinsic and extrinsic. No. No. Okay. So now you will learn it and you will know what doesn't mean. But the teacher is not going to help you on this. Ha, it's going to be your job right now. Let me let you know what we're going to do. And yes, sometimes Google knows something, okay? So in this case, this is what I want you to do. If you have a physical dictionary, wonderful. If you do not have a physical dictionary, that's okay. That's why I love technology. You can search for that information. Guys, I want you to do me a favor. I will give you... One minute, no more than that. One minute right now, individually, individually. For please search for the definition of these two terminology. The first terminology is intrinsic and the other one extrinsic. Let me put it right now on the chat, okay? Let me just a couple of minutes, let's see. I send it to you right now, how you say it. Extrinsic and intrinsic. I want you to search what are the meaning of this terminology right now. I will give you one minute and then we come back together to discuss what you have found, okay?
Okay, finish. It's already past two minutes. All right. Guys, tell me, what is the information that you found about extrinsic? What does it mean? Both are motivation. But what? What Both does it mean? Are Both are motivations. Uh -huh. Yes, are motivation. But there are main differences. Which is the difference? The interesting is the motivation that involves performing a task because it's personally rewarding to you. Uh -huh. And the experience's motivation involves completing a task obsessively in a behavior because of outside causes, such uh -huh. as avoiding punishment or receiving gifts. Uh -huh. Can I have an example for each of them? Mm, sometimes the interesting can be that you already uh, buy your first car by yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, the experience can be that uh, your daddy provide a car to you. Mm -hmm. What about um, a work environment example? Mm -hmm. For example, being paid to do a job. Yes. That is an example of extrinsic motivation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Because you may enjoy spending your day doing something other, or, or, or anything else, right? Than work, for example. Mm -hmm. What about um, intrinsic? What is intrinsic? And if you can give me an example, that would be amazing. Uh huh. No? I get one. Go ahead, uh, go ahead, Kati. Okay, for example, to me, it would be uh, participating in a sport like a swimming. Uh huh. Uh, me and I enjoy it, but um, uh -huh. I think it's a good example. Uh huh. Yes, it is. Actually, it is, guys. I'm sending you right now an example of extrinsic versus intrinsic motivation, and it's kind of similar to what Kathy had just said. Do you receive it already? The WhatsApp, guys. Yep. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yes. Andresito, do me a favor. Now that you already have it, could you please be so kind to read for me the example of intrinsic? Okay. Intrinsic is going for a run because you find it relaxing or trying to beat a personal record. Exactly. Similar to what Kathy said, because she likes it, she said. Okay. And what would be an example of intrinsic having the same idea? Extrinsic. Painting, uh -huh. so you can sell your art to make money. No, but having the same idea of going run or going for a run. Going for a run. Uh huh. For example, the first one you already said, going for a run because you find it relaxing or or are trying to beat a personal record. That is an intrinsic motivation, right? But also that could be extrinsic motivation if it's for something else. For example. If you're going for a round to increase your, your changes and winning a competition, that motivation is changes for increase, increase intrinsic to extrinsic, you see? Because it's different goals to reach. What about the second one? Painting, intrinsic example. Painting because it makes you feel calm and happy. That is an intrinsic motivation. You are doing that this for yourself. But if you are painting so you can sell your art to make money, you're not doing this for yourself to make you feel happy because you're looking for something else. In this case, you see, financial beneficial. You see the difference between intrinsic and extrinsic motivation? Yes. Do you have any doubts? Erwin, Francisco, Joshi, Freddie, Madeline, Fernando, Willan, Doris, 
Alexander, Jarvin, do you have any other doubts about that? Extrinsic is like achievement. Aha, uh -huh. and intrinsic? It's just a, like something you love, just a pastime. Aha, uh -huh. exactly. So now that you already got the idea what is intrinsic and extrinsic, I do have a, a challenge for you right now. And this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send it to you right now to the WhatsApp. Um, this information and basically I want you to now that you already have extrinsic and intrinsic terms I want you to classify the incentives in the whether they are intrinsic rewards or whether they are extrinsic rewards I will give you one two three four five six seven eight nine ten incentives I will send it to you right now. And I want you to do it in pairs, okay? So just allow me a couple of minutes more. IT department, please let me know once you receive it, okay? If you don't mind. Let me move something here. There you go. Okay, let me move this over here. And finally, yes. Did you receive it already? Yeah, you did? Okay, thank you so much for IT department. I appreciate it, Mr. Fernando. Alrighty, so we are 17, right? So I think it's gonna be in pairs. I want you guys to analyze each incentive and I want you to put it which one belongs to intrinsic or extrinsic rewards, or sometimes it could be both, depends, right? Okay, so it's 9.38. I will give you until quarter to 10. So we can work on that and then we can discuss it. So let me double check and do it right now. We are 17. How many groups we got to do? Mm -hmm. One of three persons and okay, then the rest of two. So how many? Five. Five? I will be three, right? Eight. Seven, seven groups. Seven groups. Two persons okay, and let's one see. group of three. Uh, actually, I have one, two, three, four, five groups of five, of two, sorry, and one, two, three groups of three, which is good. Okay. Okay, cool. So please accept the invitation and work with your team. Okay. There you go. Set the invitation, please. Let's start working with your team. Annie, Fernando, Erwin, let me see. Uh -huh. Alexander de Jesus, please. Vacation. <laughs> on vacation. Do you understand what you're gonna do, guys? Yeah? Okay. Easy, right? Okay. Yeah, teacher. All right, cool. Let me double check uh, the other guys. Uh, teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, I understand that we need to make the germ. No. No. In the different words, for example, uh, Maintaining full work. Mm -hmm. no. no. No, I just want you to classify each incentive and put it either it is intrinsic reward or this extrinsic reward. That's all that I need right now. Oh. Okay. It could be in, in both, right? So I just want you to let me know whether it's this or this. That's it. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. well. After that, tomorrow we're going to double check about what you're letting me know, but not today. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Let me double check with the other guys. Okay, thank you. No, thank you. Finish? No. Oh, teacher. But you understand what you're going to do, right? Classify the... Exactly. Easy peasy queasy. Let me double check the other guys. Finish? No? No. All right. No. Well, you understand what you're going to do, right? Okay. 
Okay, cool. Let me double check with the other guys. Be right back. Finish? <laughs> Oh, not really. <laughs> no, no, really. No, me. Uh, okay, I will give you like um, Miss, five minutes. Yes, um, sir. Yes, ma'am. Sorry. Uh, can you repeat the the yeah. difference between that those <laughs> words? Intrinsic and extrinsic. Intrinsic is when you're doing something that makes you feel good, that please yourself. Mm -hmm. Extrinsic motivation is you're motivated for something else. For example, oh, yeah, I, I maybe you don't you don't like your job, or maybe you don't you don't like to like um, get up early, for example. But you know, but you go to the job every single day because you know that at the end of that you're gonna be be paid for that, right? Mm -hmm. And when you got money, you will be able not only to buy your your things that you want, but at the same time you will be able to pay for your bills. Oh. You see. So that, mm -hmm. that the motivation that makes you go to the job every day is because you will have money at the end, right? Yeah. So that's um, one of the main differences. Mm -hmm. So I just want you guys you. to classify it. My pleasure. Let me double check with the other guys. Not really? No? No, no, no worries. No, yeah. All right, mm -hmm. take your time. You just need to just classify whether the incentive, it is extrinsic or intrinsic. That's all that I need. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me double check the other guys. Okay. Finish or no? I got it. I got it. You got it? Finish? Yeah. No, no yet? No. Yeah. Okay, just, don't worry. Just wait a little. Please. Just classify whether it's extrinsic or intrinsic. That's all that I need. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Continue working. Okay. And relationship, I think, is intrinsic. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I think that it's intrinsic too, but okay. something like health insurance is extrinsic. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's the other on the other way, but we can use them. Okay. Bonuses are extrinsic for me, but you I don't what? know what extrinsic bonuses. Bon oh. Bonuses. Meaningful work, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Extrinsic. 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 Yeah. X, right? Meaningful work, intrinsic. You say what? Okay. Meaningful. Many, many ah, intrinsic, work. meaningful intrinsic. work. I think, I think it's intrinsic. Okay, we can we can go on in order. Yeah, meaningful work, intrinsic. Yeah. Bonuses, extrinsic. Yeah. Health insurance, I think, is a strength, extrinsic. X. Yeah, because oh. it's something that it's a part of the of the. Yeah, yeah, and some companies don't have that kind of benefits. Yeah. Healthy relationships, I think it's intrinsic. Intrinsic, it's, yeah. Yeah. Vacations, extrinsic. Why? I don't know, because just like you said before, some business do doesn't have that, that privilege. But it's an obligation. Ah, uh, but I no. think the health insurance it's a obligation too. But there are many business that doesn't have health insurance. Well, I I um I, I think in, because it's legal to have vacations. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> I'm going to to talk in in Spanish. Sorry. Okay, okay I think that intrinsic it's inside the business, inside the enterprise. Extrinsic, it's all the rewards that... Yeah, I know. But I think, I, I, I see, or I think uh, the vacation is inside because uh, I, I, I think uh, in all the companies have, uh, have to, to do that, 
to, to read the vacations to it all. Did you guys finish? Yep. Yep. I don't I don't see like Mr. Fernando or Erwin like so like uh what? Like um confident about that, right? Well <laughs> don't worry, I know that's why we're here. We're learning about that. We need to like uh, listen to every point everybody points of view. So that don't worry about that. Let's double check and join today's class, okay? Let me double check with other guys and let's meet and the main screen right now. All righty, going back to business. Let's wait for the other guys right now. Okay, they're coming, they're coming. Mm -hmm. That's good. You got Gatti, Madeline, Glendy, Alexander, Gigi Sousa, you to have Fernando, Kenya. All righty, Jarvin is here, very good. Madeline's here. Okay, we're still missing some guys. Let's wait for the rest of the guys. All righty, Doris is here, very good. Wills is missing. Ah, yes, Mr. Willen is here. Thank you so much. He just finished his lunch, no, his dinner. All right, Francisco is here. All righty, cool. All right, Who's, who else is missing? Ah, okay. Uh, Mr. Friday is missing. And Erwin as well. Jess is here. Yes, Blanky, very good. Andresito, Eric, everybody's here. Cool. Now that everybody is to get them. All right, let me share right now my screen. Josecito is here and Joshi as well. All righty. This is what we were discussing, right? Is that these incentives are intrinsic or extrinsic? All right, meaningful work. What do you think about that? Is it extrinsic or intrinsic reward? Meaningful, meaningful. Un trabajo significativo, meaningful work. What do you think, guys? Intrinsic. 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 Why? Uh, can I give my examples? Yeah, of course. Go ahead. Okay. For me, meaningful work should be like a working organization to help other people. So. To me, will be uh, meaningful work. Also, maybe traveling around the world, helping people. So, for me, it's intrinsic. All righty, very good. Are you agree with Katy, guys? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. So this one is here. All right. Very good. What about bonuses? That's it. Extrinsic reward. Intrinsic or extrinsic? Extrinsic. Extrinsic. Very good. Uh -huh. Exactly, very good. What about health insurance? Intrinsic. Intrinsic? No, for me it's out of or, or extrinsic? Extrinsic. It, e, it could be both? Yes. For me it's the other one because you always try to get something out of that health insurance. Uh-huh. But how you feel if you get a health insurance? This is great. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh, exactly, Jeremy. Yeah, so it could be both. Yes, you're right, Freddy's. You're right. But also yeah, if you, you could feel much better if you have a, if you know that you have something that supports you, right? In case something happens. So it could be both, actually. I need a health insurance. <laughs> gonna, yeah, everybody needs a health insurance. What about healthy relationships? Intrinsic. Intrinsic? Yes. yes. For sure, right? Okay, what about vacations? In, in intrinsic. Intrinsic and extrinsic. Because of motivation. Uh -huh. I, think it could, I think it could be both. What do you think? Are you agree with me or no? Yes, because yeah. a vacation makes you feel. Especially happy. if they pay you your vacation, that would be amazing. Yes. <laughs> yes. Of course. Of course, right? <laughs> what about progress and training? What do you think is internal or external motivation? The second one. Extrinsic. Extrinsic? Yeah. 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 Uh huh. Hey, I'm missing one. What about promotions? 
Intrinsic or extrinsic? Both. Do you think it both? I think that's yes, both. I think. Yeah? Both. Yes. Okay. It could be this and it could be this. All right. What about praise and feedback? What is the meaning of praise? What is the meaning of praise, guys? No pray, found, right? Pray is different. I found that it's uh, felicitations. Uh -huh. Congratulations. Exactly. Uh, congratulations. Uh -huh, like, congratulations. Exactly. Like, You're like, the best. Uh-huh. Exactly. Uh, okay, okay. So it could yeah. be in uh, or X or both. In. For me, in. Both. For me, in. In. Some of you say both, some of you say in. What do you think? I think both. Why both, Jarvi? Because when you make a good job, uh -huh. you, you need or, or sometimes you wait for a congratulation for that. Uh -huh. Great yeah. when you receive it. Uh -huh. So for me, could be both. Could be both. Okay, let's leave it at that. What about participation, decision making? In. In? Are yes. you agree with Jesse? No. Yeah? Yes. Okay. What yes. about recognition and fun? In. In? Or both? Uh huh. Maybe both. Maybe both too. Why both? Because uh, sometimes just are expecting for recognition. Like Jarvin said, right? Yes, it's the mm. same. Uh huh. It's it's almost the same, but okay. So it's both. You said. Okay. Cool. And this one is here. This one is like da 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 da. You said right. The external one. Health insurance. You said is both. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And healthy relationship is this one. Vacation, you said that is both. And promotions as well. Okay, guys, let me ask you. For this vocabulary that you have seen so far, this one, the incentives, is there a brand new vocabulary for you that you don't know what does it mean? Or is the first time that you listen to it? Or have you heard that? Or if you read it? Price is the first time that I saw it. Price? Uh -huh. What Price. else? Uh, what's the other word? It's mm -hmm. brand new for you. Uh -huh. For me, it's brand new the intrinsic and extrinsic. The two on top. Ah, uh -huh. the two classification, the two categories. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why is brand new for you? you? You have never heard it or you have never maybe, used it, maybe? Maybe never used it. Uh huh. It's because most of the time this is just related to the work environment. Oh, that's what. Uh huh. That could be that. Yeah, you see, you're learning something new. You're increasing your vocabulary. You are building your vocabulary. All I right. Hope I never forget those words. Never forget those words, please. If not, I will hit you on the head one more time. That would be good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing you. All righty, any other brand new vocabulary for you guys besides these words that you have mentioned right now? No? The, the first, the first. The meaningful? To, yes, okay, but the whole first, first. Ah, the incentives? Both, both words. Uh -huh. Ah, this one. Individually, word. I saw it before, but no, the second. Bonuses? Meaningful, meaningful work. Ah, uh, meaningful work, uh -huh. yeah. Is it a brand new for you? Individually, I, I saw it for every uh -huh. work, but uh -huh. Uh -huh. in this context, no. In this context, no. Oh, no. All right, very good. So you see, you're learning something new every day. I promise you guys that you will learn something new every day. There you go. So now, when you listen to it, uh, or you will be able also to use it as well, right? Yes. Any questions, any doubts for today's class? 
anything that you would like to like um, me for repeat it or something like that. Ah, wait a minute. I have something for you right now. Teacher, you were, you were like, what is going on? Uh-huh. We're going to take these two minutes that we're still missing um, because um, I know that you like uh, listening exercises, right? Yes. Somebody's like scratching the head. I think Fernando's like, hmm. <laughs> Okay, I, I'm going. I'm going to like play some audio for you, but this is going to be a really interesting one because, of course, all of them are really interesting. But this one in particularly because it will help you guys with that reduction, reduction of two verbs that we have been using for this whole model: had and would. You're going to listen to four sentences, but you need to detect whether they're using had or they're using would. And sometimes it is not as easy as it seems. First, I'm going to play just the audio and then I will give you like a writing information and I'm gonna play the audio one more time. So you get, are you guys ready? Yep. Okay. Are you guys ready? Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh, no, no, I don't believe you, you know. Are you guys yes. ready? We yes. were ready. All yes. right, that's the spirit that I need. Come on, energy, all right? Let's move on. All right, woo. No, teacher, don't share with that. No, wait, I'm not gonna share with you. <laughs> ah, Come on. No, <laughs> you couldn't have time to see it. So. <laughs> all right, there you go. 110, exercise nine, yes, part listen. B. Listen to four sentences. Check the reduced form that you hear. Reduce. One. She told me that she'd bring some drinks. Two. He said that he'd taken a taxi. Three. She said that she'd bought a gift. Four. He told me that he'd tell all of his friends. Is it easy to identify what is his hat or wood? <laughs> no. It's not that easy, right? No. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm right now, I'm going to share right now with you the writing part. And I think it's going to be a little bit easy, but you got to pay attention which one they are using, okay? I know. Sometimes, so why, guys? Because sometimes the native guys, you're using in writing, but when you pronounce it, you just join it. So it's it is like, um, what? It's really hard to distinguish whether they're using one or another. So just allow me a couple of minutes. This is one of the trickiest part for listening, but you will see, you will get used to it. So let me double check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, IT department, please be so kind to let me know once you receive it, I would really appreciate it. There you go. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, send it already. You receive it? Yeah? Yes. Cool. Play that one more time, the audio, okay? There you go. Okay, pay attention, guys. Page 110, exercise nine, part B. Listen to four sentences. Check the reduced form that you hear. One. She told me that she'd bring some drinks. Two, he said that he'd taken a taxi. Three, she said that she'd bought a gift. Four, he told me that he'd tell all of his friends. Okay, so which is the first one? Which is the first one? Ooh. Are you sure? Let's play it one more time. Page 110, exercise 9, part B. 
Listen to four sentences. Check the reduced form that you hear. 1. She told me that she'd bring some drinks. She told me that she'd bring some drinks. She already did that. She already brought us a hat. Uh huh. Hat, mm -hmm. very good. Let's continue. Let me erase this really quickly. And I put here. Two. He said that he'd taken a taxi. Uh huh. He said that he'd taken a taxi. Had or would? Would. Would. Exactly. Very good. Let's double check number three. Three. She said that she'd bought a gift. Uh huh. She said uh, she bought a gift. Is it would or is it have? Uh, head, uh, head. All right. Yeah, it's head. Excellent. And the last one. Let's move on. Four. He told me that he'd tell all of his friends. Uh huh. Uh, Are you agree with Freddy's guys? Oh, he's going to tell. Would. Uh huh. Would, would or would. had? Would. He's going to tell. He told. He said tell. Uh huh. Very good. Do you like this exercise? It's really interesting, right? Yeah. Because when you speak, it's really hard to detect whether it's would or had. Depends on the structure of the sentence. Never forget that. I'm going to do a lot of exercises like that, okay? And maybe yeah. tomorrow we're going to work about the pronunciation or reduction of O or A, linking words. We're going to do that, okay? Don't worry. We're going to join words. We're going to, I will try to do every class uh, some pronunciation exercises, okay? I will do that. Oh, All right. You. Any doubts, any questions that you might have? No? Okay. No. All right. No problem. So let me double check here. Uh, 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 uh. No, the guy that I want to talk to right now is already gone. Yesterday was Fernando. So um, I want to stay with William today. Okay. So the rest of the guys, bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Take care. Good night. William already has his dinner, so that's okay. I'm off. You what? <laughs> Come on. Shame <laughs> on you. <laughs> All right. How you feel, William? Um, tired? Actually, I feel tired. Okay. As, as really? always. As always, me too. Yeah. I'm tired of relaxing. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I think because I spent too much time on a pool. So even though I like put some eye drops, I still are like, like with chili. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. My blue eyes disappears. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm black. And now we're black. Yeah, it's completely <laughs> black. No, actually, no. My, my eyes are like uh, tiger eyes. Oh, really? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I, but I, I, I'm not regret about spending time in a pool. It was really nice. Oh, it is a great time. Yes. And every time that I have a pool, I, I because there are some guys that just get into the pool, relax, and get some drinks and all the stops. But in my case, no, I do exercise. I love to swim that you cannot imagine. And I can swim. So I try to do as much exercise as I can. So that I think because I have 
a really long period of time without doing that like an extra exercise that I have done right now. Tomorrow, my legs and my arms are going to kill me, yeah. right? Especially yeah. with swimming because sometimes the, the people don't, they, they say, oh, they think, ah, no, you're swimming, you don't sweat, you don't do exercise, but you do exercise a lot. Oh my God. So tomorrow I will feel really painful. Yeah, you will get tired. I'm tired, you know. I'm sleepy. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. I've been sleepy the whole class. Oh, my God. Maybe you have noticed that, but I was like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, that's why I have my coffee here. Okay. Because I, I think my eyes, my eyes feels like they're like like tired like they're about to, to close they are. It, uh -huh. that's why i need to put some chuchitos like this ah, okay <laughs> yeah and how was your day today mm, it was a little stressful a really stressful but you're almost on vacation tomorrow 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 that will be the last day and then you you will have the whole week for you uh, okay yeah but i have to work really yeah so you will be on vacation but not really no just uh, for my class for your but class ah yes <laughs> uh, I, I almost forgot I, that i uh, know we're sleeping now <laughs> you see you see i told you i'm sleepy right now yeah like teacher teacher you're in the moon yes right now i am <laughs> and i have noticed that and hey, talking about the moon and all the stuff how do you feel about this week topics mm, do you like them yeah a lot why do you like it did you learn something new tell me about it yeah and i can remember about <laughs> of course and, and practicing and learning new vocabulary yeah it's interesting what about the listening parts it's really hard but i am doing my best i know yeah i know especially this last one right it's really yeah. hard yeah but you will you need to develop your listening skill yeah, with more practice definitely you'll see you will you will be like oh you will like easily detected yeah but that's why I we're doing a lot of practices do you have any feedback for me mm, not tell me sure. the truth oh, no, i can't take anything go on no i don't have anything wrong about you no negative things what about positive things i can bring it on uh, <laughs> yeah, everything is good no, everything is good. I'm sleepy. Ah, okay. It is bad. Uh -huh. you, you have to, to hide your energy. I don't know what am I going to do. I think <laughs> I need to, 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 um, uh, some rest, maybe. Yeah. Or mm -hmm. you have to, to go swimming, maybe. Again? Tomorrow, again, and your body is relaxing and the problem is i won't be able to because uh, i gotta go to the doctor and do some blood tests and all the stuff so i don't think so but maybe in the afternoon i will take a nap yeah you know what i'm planning to like not this month because it's already half of the month but maybe next month i will try some aqua fitness okay yeah and I, for one month, so I'm going to double check if it's good uh, and because of the schedule as well. And then if I feel good, I will continue with it because I love water. Yeah, I need it relaxing to do some some exercise. Yeah, it, and is, it, good it is good. It is good for health. Exactly. I'm not doing just to be like 90, 60, 90, right? No, no, it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing it because of my health, what you said. Yeah. So I, and I'm going, hopefully I can lose weight. <laughs> yes. yes, because when you're in the 40s, you need to like very careful with it. What you're eating, what you eat, what you do, and etc. 
Yeah. Already. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know you're tired, but I really appreciate that you took some extra time to be one on one session with me. So I'm going to leave you alone. You can go in and drink your cup of tea. All right. So hugs and kisses. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you. Bye bye. Take care. Bye.